Welcome back to A Ride in the Country. I'm Cliff Fawcett, your host. Today, we're gonna to be putting this heavy duty spring on my CRF 250L. And make sure you stick around because I've watched all the videos on YouTube and I found what I think is a better way. So here we go, let's get busy. The first step in changing your spring is to get the shock off. And to get the shock off, you need to take the seat off. So that'll be the first thing I do here. So these little things back here, these are a six, a size six hex key. So I'll take these little pins off here. I like to use these little magnetic things just to hold on to my hardware. That way I don't lose it. So I took this one off here and now I'm gonna take this one off here. And that's all that holds the seat on. So after that, make sure I don't lose my fasteners. After that, you just push the seat kind of down and back and it pops right out. The seat is off. Next step is to take off these side panels. And so we'll do that. Uh, these are, I believe, a size fiber hex key. Yep, five. There's only one on this right side of the bike. And be careful, there's a little washer thing there, a little kind of stovepipe, stove hat thing. And then uh, this comes off. You wanna pop the back out here and then kind of slide this back this way. And that's off. And now we come to the other side again a size six and there's one down here now when i bought my bike it was used it only had 300 miles on it but anything used <laughs> you never know little stovepipe thing stove hat thing is missing on this one pop it off the back here just kind of let's see like that slide this this way and that's off make sure you save your hardware so you don't lose the nut or the bolt okay the next step is to take off the uh, reservoir for the rear brake and I believe that is a a 12 nope it's a 10 10 millimeter. Just gonna loosen that up. And put that in the hardware thing. And then if you look, this right here, this bolt is the top of the shock. So we'll get to it on this side with this. And I believe that one is a 14. Let's see, might be a 12, I can't remember. 14, yes, okay. 14 on this side, and the other side is a 17. Now, a lot of people recommend using a spanner. I tried and tried and tried, I could not get it in there. And I went to Harbor Freight and I bought a set of these Crowfoot things. And what I found is if you get a long extension like this, and you put the crow foot on it, you can slide it right in and get it right on that nut, and you can loosen that nut. So let's go to the other side and try that. So what I've learned on this side is that the uh, battery cables and things kind of get in the way. So uh, I want to take off the, uh, the black lead off of the, uh, the battery, and I'm also going to take off the battery strap. And uh, this is gonna allow me just a little bit more room. Uh, this is a uh, five millimeter hex key. There's two of them here. And I need to get in through here. So this is just gonna give me just a little bit more room when going through there. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is 
I'm going to peel this off here and peel this back. And there's a little fastener in there, uh, which just basically is like a sort of a <coughs> kind of an overlapping thing. And if you look uh, right in here, you shall see that there is a bolt in there, right there. And that bolt right there is the other half of the shock. Now, I am using a crow foot, as I said, with a 3 8 inch extension. And what you'll see is I can get that right in there and put it right on the nut. There it is. And now all I have to do is hold this here. That'll hold the nut. And then I can turn the bolt on the other side, which is right over here under this thing. And there's the other side. And I'll just turn that counterclockwise and I will loosen it up. And then I'm gonna slide over to this side of the bike. And I'm gonna hold this thing in on that nut that's going to want to twist so what you want to do is this here get a screwdriver or something and put it underneath you're going to kind of leverage it to keep this from spinning i got a a short breaker bar and i'm going to use that in place of my socket here give me a little better leverage because it's a little tighter than i remembered there we go all right that's on there now I gotta get this in on here and get some leverage so that it doesn't spin like that and then I'm just gonna turn this bolt anti-clockwise and there it goes I broke it free there we go I'm just gonna spin it until the nut drops to the ground <laughs> the bolt is coming out that side is that loose enough to yep it is to do it by hand and there goes the nut so i got the nut and the bolt off the top half of the shock and now i'm going to turn my attention to the lower linkages and to do that i need to go on the other side of the bike this is the bottom of the shock right here. And in order to get that out, I'm gonna have to loosen this one. So I'm gonna loosen both of these. There's a nut on the other side. The uh, bolt on this side is 14. Other side, I believe is 17. So we'll get those loose. There's the 14 on that side and this side is a 17. And we're just gonna loosen it up. Let's see, anti-clockwise, yep. There we go. Okay, Get that. Then we're gonna loosen this one. Uh, actually, we take this out first. Let me show you a little trick with this that I learned because what's going to happen is this swing arm here is going to be completely free so we're going to need a way to regulate that and what I found is the best way to do that is using a floor jack under the wheel that way I can kind of manipulate it up and down so I'll go get the floor jack and get that underneath there I remembered before I started I should have put it on the center stand or in my case a motocross stand because I don't have a center stand so that I get the weight off of the tires and off of the shock so that I can easily get it out so I'm gonna put it up on the center stand now there we go there we go now it's on the on the stand that'll work okay
I got the four jack and I'm just going to slide it under the tire here and just jack it up so that it's in contact. I think if I just jack it up a little bit, it'll help this come out. See that come right out. So then I got that out. Now I can get at that one. Again, 17 on this side and 14 on this side. Okay. And I'm just loosening that up. And uh, this should just slide right out. And there it is. And now your shock is mostly free. So you need to go up up top here and get this this bolt out. Gentle persuasion. And I just kind of wiggled it on the bottom and I was able to get the, the top bolt out. And now what I like to do here is to just jack this up a little bit. It just kind of gives a little more room under here to pull it out. And there she is. She is free. I have the spring out. It has been liberated. And um, basically what you need to do, this is the top, this is the bottom. You need to get to a nut that's in here so you can hold on to it. And then you can stick a screwdriver in here and spin this off so that you get this washer off and then the spring comes off. In order to do that, you need to take the pressure off this spring. I've tried using the McPherson strut uh, spring compressors from a car and this spring, the coil is just too tight and it doesn't really fit on there very well. And it, it kind of twists and it just doesn't make you feel safe. So um, I have found a guy at a shop and I'm gonna go down there and uh, apparently he has a spring compressor tool that will allow us to get to this nut, pop this off, slide the spring off and put the new spring on. So we're gonna head down there and do that and uh, get this shock back on the motorcycle. There's a little lock tight there. That's a good thing, man. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Get that gone. Oh, yeah, and now it's moving. Oh, hallelujah. Look at that. Yep. Yep, it's probably hot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay! I'm not going to touch that either. Yep. That'll probably be hot. Is that brake cleaner? Suspension clean. Suspension clean. Nice. <laughs> of course. I'm actually going to get a different one. So you measured it before the other one. Free length. Yeah, the free length of this is 218 millimeters. Which that's from here to here. Okay, yeah. Uh, this one would be 250, but the spacer. This one right. is now no, 245. Right, okay, yeah.
Thank you so much. Thank you. So he wouldn't let me pay him. <laughs> so he told me to tell James, my neighbor, uh, because I got it for free, James, uh, next time you're paying twice. <laughs> so yeah, how about that? Protune suspension, Wellston, Ohio. This is the place. If you need suspension work on your bike, come here. Okay, I have returned from Southern Ohio and Protune suspension, and I have my new spring on the shock, and I have the old spring off. So this one's a lot more heavy duty, and now I'm gonna put it back on. The first thing I need to do is to find the bolt for the top of the shock here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the shock up in, and then I'm gonna push this in part way and then I'm going to go the other side put the nut up there so what I'm going to do I got this jacked up a little bit let's see if we can get this up through here all right there we go I can see it right through there and I'm just gonna slide this through. All right, get that through just enough so that we can get to the other side of it. And now I'm going to go to the other side. Is I'm going to use this tool right here to slide the washer on the bolt in here so you can see that and that is good and now I'm gonna put this on here whoop and that happens <laughs> that'll happen more than once just gonna gently get it in there and get it on the bolt There we go. So it is on there. Now I just need to get on the other side. Not sure if you can see it on the camera, but the bolt is definitely going through the nut. I'm gonna put this under here just to kind of Reinforce it a little bit and I'm gonna hold that there and turn this here until I get it tight. Now I'm not gonna torque it yet, I just got it in there tight enough to hold it up. And now I'm gonna go down on the bottom side and get those other ones fastened. Okay, so this needs to go in here and that's the short one this one and that might need a little persuasion there we go this goes on the other side these will all be torqued to 44 newton meters but uh, right now we're just gonna kind of tighten it down And then we'll lift this one up and get it in there. There we go. And we're going to probably need to lower the jack down a little bit so that this lines up perfectly. That's probably good right there. Slide that through. All right, let's go get the torque wrench. The upper mounting bolt is 54 Newton meters. So let's tighten this down. Let's see.
torque down. Okay. So we got this torqued, that torqued, that torqued. We're going to need to get this bolt back in, the covers back on, and we are back together. Well, as you can see, I got it all installed. And uh, I think the red looks really nice with the red bike. And uh, I've taken it for a test spin and it feels way more planted, way more solid and way more suited to my body weight. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And remember, if you ever want to go for a ride in the country, dark, you can always join to dark. You can always join me here on YouTube where it's always nice for a ride in the country.